Welcome to Second Opinion, the reviews show here on the Nexus. I'm your host, Brian Mitchell, and today I will talk about AirPods Pro. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO77. All right, so new AirPods. What does that bring you? So like the existing AirPods, they are independent left and right that it will fit in your ear. There are no wires at all, and they come in a case that both charges the case or... Yes, you can charge the case, but it also uh, charges the AirPods themselves, and then you charge the case to charge the AirPods, and you can carry it around in your pocket. It's quite nice. So what's new in these is that they bring active noise cancellation. Um, they do this through a couple of different modes. So there's the like noise cancellation mode, and then there's a transparency mode. And so um, what that means is there are microphones in these AirPods. I think there's some inside your ear, some outside. So it basically listens to everything around you and it plays the inverse uh, wave of the audio that is coming into your ears. And what this means is it, it sounds very quiet because it's kind of canceling it all out. Now, because they are um, still headphones and physics and things, it mostly blocks at the low end. So if something much higher pitch happens around you, like something clanking, you're going to hear that much more prominently than some like low rumble of a car driving by or something. So that's the noise canceling mode. Now this is the transparency mode, which basically turns on these microphones and just plays what it hears around you. So things are almost more crisp because you're getting kind of uh, an amplified surrounding around you. Now, as a Minnesotan in the winter, this is an interesting mode because I wear a hat. And what do hats do when they rub against things? They make noise, at least when it rubs against a microphone, which these AirPods have. So uh, I've noticed there's a small, small, small delay when using transparency mode. So basically, when I move my head around when I'm wearing a hat, there's a, like, you know, it's like, I don't know, a couple dozen milliseconds at most. So it's just like fraction of a second, a little delay when I move my head around. So that's something to note. It's not 100% real time as much as Apple would love to tell you about their wonderful H1 chip. But what can you do? I'll take some transparency mode. It makes me much more aware and alert when I'm going on a walk, particularly at night when I can't really uh, use my vision as much as I can during the day, especially when it's like peripheral things. I've uh, I've been on a night walk when I have the noise canceling mode on and completely jump scare myself when I'm walking up to someone because I'm you know normally looking in front of me and when you can't see anything because it's dark and you can't hear anything because you have noise canceling on, bad things could happen. So don't use noise canceling when you're walking at night, folks. Use that wonderful transparency mode. Um, and lastly, you can also turn off the noise canceling entirely, and you just get the passive canceling from the fact that these new silicone in ear tips are blocking the sound from entering your ears. So a unique thing about in-ear headphones is that when they have such a tight seal to block out the sound around you, they also add this pressure in your ear because it's like pushing air out or compressing air in your ear to fit the earpiece. Um, so these AirPods Pro have a little vent to kind of displace that. But in addition, instead of just the air pressure of an inner earpiece, there's also the extra kind of perceived pressure of an active noise canceling headphone. So this is because the noise canceling kind of blocks out a lot of the low sounds. And so that just seems weird to your brain because normally you hear a full spectrum of sound. So when you only hear um, a couple of high things around you and the lows are blocked out. It's kind of like a muffled low pressure. And so this vent lets in just a little bit of sound as well. And it kind of normalizes and equalizes the pressure in your ear. The new AirPod Pros come with a custom high excursion Apple driver and a custom high dynamic range amplifier. So they've improved the sound quality a bit in this new model. Uh, so with those microphones around the the actual earphones themselves, um, there are a bunch of sensors on here. So Apple lists them as dual beam forming microphones. I think these are the ones that kind of uh, come at the little, sp little stems that pick up your voice when you're on a phone call or talking to uh, your favorite digital assistant or something like that. There's also an inward facing microphone. So I think this is the one inside of the earphone. Uh, there are dual optical sensors. So this is the little infrared bit. So if you take out an AirPod, it'll pause your music and you put it back in. It'll sense that it's back in your ear and it'll resume playing it. 
And that's been on the original AirPods as well. A very handy feature, I might add. Uh, there's a motion detecting accelerometer, a speech detecting accelerometer, and a new force sensor, which I'll get into in a minute. So these accelerometers, I guess, are for triggering like uh, your digital assistant when you're walking around because it is, you know, listening. You can say, hey, assistant name, <laughs> uh, and then ask to do something and it will reply. So this uses the same uh, chip in the AirPods second generation which is the H1, and that brings, uh, I think, lower latency, um, better battery life, things like that. So there's this new force sensor on the AirPods Pro. Um, What that means is it kind of replaces the whole tap the side of the AirPod that the previous generations had. And so... Um, it's, it's like a, a surface, uh, what a force sensor. So there's a little, uh, notch on the stems, which are actually shorter with the AirPods Pro, which is kind of nice. Um, and so, uh, it acts as a button. It plays an audible little click in your ear, but it doesn't actually physically move. So it's just kind of, it detects your force. Um, you can press once to play pause or answer a phone call. This is very much like the, um, wired ear pods that Apple releases with every iPhone. You can press twice to skip forward and three times to skip back. And new, there's a press and hold to switch between active noise canceling or transparency mode. All right, so now I'm going to kind of go through this uh, checklist that Ian has put together for when reviewing headphones. So I'll start with the price. So these are a bit more expensive than AirPods. They run at $249 with an optional $29 Apple Care plus two-year warranty for, I think, uh, you get two accidental damages and you pay $29 to replace if you, like, step on one or it breaks, something like that. So... That will definitely increase the price if you opt in for that. Um, As for durability and losability, uh, these things are pretty small. They're quite lightweight. And yeah, you know, if you stepped on them, you're definitely going to break them. And they're pretty losable if you are fidgeting with them outside of the case or you you take them off and you miss the case. You could definitely easily drop them. I feel like I almost have, but not quite yet. The fit, so there are in-ear silicone tips, and they come with three sizes. So um, they come out of the box with a medium, but you can replace them for a large or a small. And these, when you're replacing the tips, you got to give them a pretty good tug. They do stretch out quite a lot, so that's a little daunting when you're first switching them around. Um, If you do need replacement ones, I think Apple is selling them for $4 for a set. If that's your thing, there you go. There's a tool in the Bluetooth settings of an iPhone that plays a little music and it tries to sense how well the seal is. So I think it compares the sound that's on the external microphone versus the internal microphone of the the earphone piece. And then it detects if extra noise is leaking out. All right, so sound quality. Um, They sound fine. There's nothing, I mean, it's not like uh, mind-blowing quality, but I would never expect something like that out of, you know, little earbuds like this. Um, I think if you're going to go for really high quality, you should look at some over-the-ear headphone, not a earbud. I've seen some reviewers say that they're very mid-heavy. I personally don't really notice. They sound they sound pretty good to me, um, especially with noise canceling on. You really um, can only mainly hear what's coming out of them. And so that, that lets you keep the volume a little bit lower, but still being able to hear everything. I think where the AirPods Pro and AirPods in general as well, really shine is just their form factor, convenience, and the fact that there are no wires. And they're really well-built, great features, I think. And so the sound quality doesn't need to be like the best in the world for them to be a very, very good product. All right, so battery life. They last up to four and a half hours of listening on a single charge and up to five hours if you have active noise canceling or transparency off. So that's with full the noise canceling fully disabled, which you have to do uh, through your phone or other device. You can't disable them all entirely just on the AirPods. You can get up to three and a half hours of talk time with a single charge, and they support some fast charging. So five minutes in the case provides about an hour of listening time or about an hour of talk time. So they, you can you know, be on a call. If you're on a very long call or something, on my old AirPods, what I've, I've done is, because they don't last very long anymore, because I've used them quite extensively over the last f- several years, 
Um, you can take one off in the middle of a call, charge it in the case a little bit, put it back in, swap out with the other one, and keep going like that. So a fast charging is is quite nice. The case that they, they sit in will provide 24 hours of listening or 18 hours of talk time. Um, and it is a wireless charging, G charging case. So the second generation AirPods, you can buy the, the lower end, or I guess the, the cheaper start line is just a lightning connector. And you can, I don't know, $30 more, maybe you get a wireless charging case in addition to lightning. And so the AirPods Pro gets that just out of the box. Connectivity, uh, Bluetooth 5, I guess. There's no real cords other than to charge the case through a lightning connector. Uh, and they do sync, like all of the recent wireless Apple headphones through Beats or through the AirPods line, they do sync through iCloud. So you connect to one device and then they'll show up as an option on all of your other devices. And that works quite well. Um, and you can even connect these to an Apple TV. So when I was living in a house with some friends a couple of years ago, there's one night where I was sitting on my couch watching TV with AirPods in, and I got a very strange look from my housemate because he thought I was just staring at a TV with no sound, no subtitles. And then, you know, I pull out an AirPod and I'm like, oh, sorry, what? And so that's that's a good option if that's your kind of thing. Cords. Huh, there are none. That's uh, the whole point of this product. As for buttons, I already t- kind of talked about that force sensor. So it's not technically a button, but it's kind of a like a force sensor, a force surface. That's pretty much a button, right? All right. And then like miscellaneous extra other features. They are sweat and water resistant through the IPX4 standard. I wouldn't recommend washing these or submerging them. I will say my first generation AirPods did make it through a cycle of a clothes washer and they did eventually dry out after a week and a half and continue to work. Uh, I think these things are so filled with glue just to build them and keep them together that they're pretty waterproof out of the box, but still I would not recommend washing these. I have tested the noise canceling features out in quite a few different environments. So list off a few examples here. First of which is a shared laundry room. So a dryer is a pretty low rumbling noise, which is prime for a noise canceling feature to cut that out. Highly recommend in laundry rooms. Something like a kitchen faucet, you definitely hear the higher end, but the lower end gets uh, drowned or cut out through the noise canceling. Um, and that works quite well. Um, just outdoor ambience, like, you know, walking around, um, you don't hear the, the wind hitting the trees very much, or even wind hitting the AirPods themselves if it is a windy day. It kind of cuts that out so it doesn't impact what you're listening to as much. Walking along a busy road, it cuts out most of the traffic that's all a little bit lower in pitch. So you don't hear the, those cars very much. Uh, I found a city bus is a fantastic place for noise canceling. The heaters in the back of the bus, especially in the winter here, and just the sound of the engine um, is almost entirely removed. And that's awesome. Active noise canceling is very good on airplanes. So these are probably great as well. I have not been on an airplane since buying these a couple of weeks ago. So uh, stay tuned for, for more. <laughs> but they are probably great on airplanes. I do have a pair of the Sony WXM3-1000. I don't know. There's an episode a few second opinions ago about it, um, but they're over-the-ear uh, active noise-canceling headphones, and they are phenomenal on airplanes. So noise-canceling on airplanes is is great. Compared to standard AirPods, the AirPods Pro do have a shorter stem. That's... Interesting to me because they also added a button instead of taps. So you you um, go from something that you just need to tap, which is easier to hit, especially with gloves in the winter here in a wonderful place like Minnesota. And then they shortened the stems and made it a button, which is more difficult to squeeze with gloves. And it's a smaller surface area because they're shorter and closer to your ears. So I struggle with that just a little bit. Um, I do think they kind of sit a little bit further out of your ear. Um, the silicone tips keep them in there, but they're not quite hugged close to your ear in the same way that the original AirPods are. So that silicone tip is pretty good. I went from a medium to a small, and I found those where um, they felt a little more stable to me, that the fit testing tool said I had I had a pair of mediums and a pair of smalls. I tried them both, and the, the fit tool said they're great in both. So I think it's kind of... you can You can pretty easily tell when they're not seated well. 
Um, and I think the small fit my ears a little better. So if you're, if you do get a pair of these, I would recommend changing a couple sizes around to see what really does fit best. And finally, you can get free engraving on your AirPods Pro case if you buy through Apple. So I got my, my name on mine. I don't know if that would be, that'd be fun. Not that I really think I would lose these in any, anywhere. They're always in my pocket, but just in case. I'm giving these like a five stars out of five. They're they're really nice. It's a, a great continuation and improvement on the original AirPods design. I can't wait to use these on an airplane. They're great. Well, I think that's about all I have for now. I would say um, follow me on Twitter at Brian Mitch L. Uh, I might be tweeting a little bit more about these, especially after I go on a plane or continue to use them. You can find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO77. Um, you can also uh, comment and discuss this episode on the Twitter at the Nexus TV or on our subreddit, which is reddit.com slash r slash the Nexus TV. This episode is released under a Creative Commons license, so please feel free to share and remix this. Just give us some uh, attribution back. Finally, if you like what we're doing here on The Nexus, head on over to our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash The Nexus TV, and give us some tips. That's all I got. Have a good one and happy listening. The Nexus. The Nexus. The Nexus TV. Podcasts from, from the, the Technological, technological Convergence. Convergence.